Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Elise. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys, I'm going to be doing an old school get ready with me video. That's just where I'm at today. I wanted to do like the whole high production, sit in my normal filming space and, you know, turn on all my HD lights and do my usual filming setup. But today I decided, you know what? What the hell? I don't have time for that because realistically, I don't. I like to give myself at least two and a half to three hours whenever I'm getting ready and doing an actual video. And right now, I'm running at about an hour and a half tops for time. So because of that, I really don't have the time to do the whole setup that I usually do. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn on my vlogging camera, set up my vanity, use my regular vanity lights. And we're going to kick this old school style. We're going to do this how people used to do it back in the olden days when YouTube was first launching. And people would just turn on their little laptop webcams or use whatever little handheld camera they had we are doing a chatty get ready with me video is this on backwards yeah that's absolutely on backwards but i don't care i'm actually getting ready now because i'm gonna be heading oh it's my kid wait is my phone charging my phone needs to be charging because we're going to a concert tonight and i cannot have this phone dying on me so i gotta go put it to charge babe can you give me my coffee please it's in the freezer I put it in the freezer when I went in the shower so it wouldn't melt. I have to tweeze my brows a little bit because they are looking hella crazy. The disrespect with these pimples on my face right now is just uncanny. It's out of this place. What does uncanny mean? I'm pretty sure I didn't use that the right way. Yo, yo, you wanna come with mama? Say hello to the people. Say hello, party people. Does mama have coffee, boy? <laughs> Yeah, I do have coffee bread. Sorry. He was still not into it. So there is no particular order in how I'm doing this get ready with me. Honestly, I have no structure, no anything, no script, anything. And that's usually unlike me because whenever I'm doing a video, I have an idea of what I want to do or what I really want to showcase. In this video, I just want to chit chat with you guys. Probably not super edited either because... I just want to chill with you guys. I miss the days where YouTube was very raw and very authentic because I feel like honestly we've stepped away from the days where you felt like the YouTubers and the content creators that you were watching were your friends. I feel like we've reached a point where now we kind of idolize creators and we've kind of separated them from being a real person and we kind of feel like they're celebrities in a sense and really unreachable not that there's anything wrong with that but i do miss the days where you would watch a youtuber and you'd be like oh like that's my friend like you would associate them as a friend because their videos were so real and so raw and you know so authentic i know nowadays it's this high production and all this fancy editing and all this fancy equipment you have drones and super like expensive freaking five thousand dollar plus cameras and these editing softwares that edit these videos to the t so the point where you feel like you're watching a damn movie and i don't want to be misconstrued in my words because i truly feel like that is an art whenever people content creators myself included whenever we are editing things to that point where it's like perfect almost that is an art because that the amount of time that that takes not only to produce it and to create it but to sit down and for hours and hours and hours upon hours edit that and make it look as good as you do that takes a lot of time so that is an art and i have so much respect for people who edit their videos to that type of extent i absolutely appreciate videos like that i feel like that has become the new norm and if you aren't creating videos like that your videos in a sense are whack or they're not cool or they're not fun to watch or they're not you know something that people are interested in and i it makes me sad because i feel like what happened to those days where you know youtube was just something that you would go and watch and you'd feel like you were watching your friend you know and i really want to bring that kind of aspect to my channel i want you guys to always feel like my videos are homey and like i am your friend because truly i feel like i am i feel like you guys are my friends and you know even though we might not know each other personally i want you guys to see me as somebody that you relate to and i want you guys to see me as a human as a normal person just that happens to create content for youtube i never want my area my space to feel far fetched and like something that you guys can't relate to if that makes any sense i'm not gonna really go into detail as to what products i'm using i mean i might here and there like i just don't have a structure for this video i don't even know what i really want to do just make sure that you check out the description box if you want to like detailed description of what moisturizer i used what foundation i used because 
chances are I'm probably not even going to fully dive deep into the products that I'm using. Leave me a comment and let me know if you agree or if you disagree, that's fine too. I would love to know your thoughts on, you know, the old YouTube versus YouTube where it is nowadays. I mean, I totally agree that evolution is a real thing and people do need to evolve, they need to grow, they need to level up and I 1000% agree with that. But I feel like, you know, from time to time it would be nice to watch somebody just like do things how it used to be done. I feel like I'm talking in circles, but I I think you guys understand what I mean but I just I just totally spit at everything did you guys see that freaking cheese ball oh my god I really like this foundation it's the Maybelline dream satin liquid foundation it is definitely very hydrating and I don't really do hydration like that because I'm oily but as long as I'm using a matte foundation which I did and because of the fact that it's winter and it's actually pretty cold today my skin shouldn't get too out of hand do you guys see these massive pimples that I have like, my God, the disrespect that I have going on on my face right now is crazy. I am on my period, though, so it makes sense. But still, you guys, like, what the hell? My molar is hurting so bad right now. I actually have to get a root canal. Oh, my God, I'm, like, so not looking forward to that. It's actually this upcoming week. So I'm trying to also get ahead and plan my videos out because... The last time I got a root canal, I was kind of useless for the next day or two because my, like, whole face was hurting. If you don't know, when you get root canals, they're pretty much drilled to the bottom of your roots to get the root out, essentially, of the tooth. Then they have to crown it, and it's this whole thing. But I feel like in the process, it doesn't, like, hurt that much. But I feel like after you get the root canal, I feel like you still feel, like, the drilling and all the sensation from what they did to you. And it's the worst. It's truly the worst. But I have to get one, and I have this tooth that's hurting me right now. But it's the tooth that needs to get addressed. I'm trying to get ahead and pre-film my content. You want to get sushi? Okay. Like I said, super laid back. My kid is going to be popping in and out of this video. My cat's going to be in and out of the video. You're probably going to hear a lot of background noise. And it's fine. It's my life. And I'm really not asking anybody in my house to be quiet right now. I don't even fully know what I'm wearing. Did I even tell you guys where I was going? I'm going to see Aventura tonight. If you don't know who Aventura is, um, they're basically a Latin Spanish um, band. I look really yellow on camera. But I swear, it looks a lot better in person might look really crappy on camera but it looks really really good <laughs> he's wearing a blanket as a cape <laughs> I'm actually gonna bake a little bit tonight because of the fact that i'm gonna go to a concert i might get a little sweaty things might get a little hot by baking that will definitely ensure that my oils don't get too out of hand Can you guys believe i still don't even know what i'm wearing tonight i mean i have these brown leather pants that i'm considering wearing then i also kind of want to do jeans i'm not really sure what i want to do to be honest i'm hoping i can kind of pull it together and think in my mind what i really want to wear within the next 10 minutes while I'm doing my makeup. Definitely doing pants though. When I'm on my period, I like to wear pants, especially because I blow like towards the bottom section of my stomach. Plus it makes me uncomfortable. Like I'd rather wear pants with like Spanx just to make me feel super secure. I don't know. I feel like you either get a girl who hates wearing pants when they're on their period or you get girls who actually enjoy wearing pants. I'm one of the girls who likes to wear pants whenever I have my period. I don't like to feel that like air down there whenever I'm on my period. Like it makes me uncomfortable. Is there anybody else like that? Am I being weird? I'm, I'm probably being really weird right now. You guys are probably unsubscribing as I speak. All right, guys. So now that brows are on, we can continue. I actually went ahead and I bronzed while I had the camera off. It is hot as balls in this room right now. Moving on to eye makeup. I'm definitely going to be going with a neutral eye. I just want to play with color today. I'm just not in it. You know, I'm definitely not in it. So I don't know about you guys. I started getting ready so late today because I couldn't stop watching, um, what's it called? Love Blind? No. Netflix show Love is Blind, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. That like dating show where you date people before you could like look at them. Um, yesterday I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna watch this freaking show. So I started watching it, you guys, and it's like literally crack. You can't stop watching it. You laugh because you can't believe that this is actually real and it's confusing and then you get angry at some point or at least me my emotions were kind of all over the place watching the show so i think i'm maybe five or six episodes in and it's just like getting more and more interesting and i won't give anything away you have people on there that get proposed and then after they like are like oh this was a big mistake i don't even like this person like and i'm supposed to marry it. like it's a whole thing a very interesting concept I don't know if I would ever do something like that. Let me know if you would actually go and follow through with something like that. Whenever you throw like marriage and engagement into the mix, it just gets a lot more sticky. I feel like to do that with somebody that you just barely met 
it's crazy but then you have people that say like when you know you know like it's a whole thing so I just feel like that show is it's crazy it's definitely a show everybody should watch because it's so weird alright guys so this is the finished I look at the moment this is what we're looking like I'm actually so pissed at myself because I wasn't recording when I was doing the lashes and a whole big chunk of the actual eyeshadow I wasn't recording at all so sorry about that you guys um, I wasn't really saying anything though so it would have ended up being a time lapse of me just like fast forwarding and putting music over it anyways it ended up being a lot smokier than I expected it to but I actually really really like the look so I'm not gonna put on my lips right now because I still want to go eat something and I don't want to ruin my lips so this is gonna be the outfit I feel comfortable I feel nice and secure I'm extremely bloated right now so like God, I could never do a dress right now. A body con? Hell no. Like, I would look at least four months pregnant. Do you guys see this hair? It looks freaking psychotic. I have so much frizz in my hair. Actually, what I did was I washed my hair, let it air dry, which it air dried absolutely wild. And then after that, what I did was I took a brush and my blow dryer and I kind of just did one of these because I just need the hair to be dry. I don't need it to be straight or like anything like that. I just need it to be dry. I look psychotic. I'm pretty happy with the way that my hair looks. Take some setting spray. Yeah, it's cute. We'll keep the necklace. Ah, pues tú te mira, eh, tira como un pelo. You look beautiful, honey. Thank you. Mira, mira. Like that. All right, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna wear these little boticas. I'm probably gonna wear a faux fur jacket because I hear it's really cold right now. Um, and that is pretty much it, you guys. That is gonna complete this video, you guys. This little old school style get ready with me. I enjoyed doing it for you guys, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna try to get some clips of the concert. If I can get some, I will insert them either at the beginning or the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and smash that little notification bell. That way you will be notified every single time I am posting a new video so you don't miss out. See you guys in my next video. Bye.